Hi everyone, today's topic What is the difference between statistical thermodynamics and classical thermodynamics? Before discussing this, let us discuss what is thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is a branch of science which deals with heat and temperature and the relationship between other forms of energies such as chemical energy, kinetic energy, etc. etc. So let us discuss today's topic what is the difference between these two that is statistical thermodynamics and classical thermodynamics yes let us discuss consider a system okay system made up of large number of molecules to understand the behavior of a system and the changes takes place in a system we have two approaches one approach is statistical approach Another one is classical approach. Statistical approach is called microscopic level approach and classical approach is called macroscopic level approach. Yes, from the word itself you can easily understand what is the difference. Let us discuss in detail. First difference, the statistical approach. The thermodynamic analysis is done on molecular level by adding the behavior of each molecules so this is molecular level approach here each molecule considered as separate entities to find the behavior of each molecule and adding up their molecular behavior then we will get a system behavior okay and what is classical approach? The thermodynamic analysis is done based on quantity of matter. It does not consider matter at molecular level. So this is a bulk level approach. Yes, the entire matter or the entire system considered a single entity. The entire system considered a single entity. So that is classical approach. Yes, the common thermodynamics, this, whatever the thermodynamics, now we are studying these and all based on classical approach. Statistical approach is difficult, more complex, difficult or more complex. This is easy method. <coughs> and this statistical method is applicable in the study of laser, plasma, and cryogenics etc etc okay so let us discuss next difference large number of variables are required to describe the system but here less variables are required to describe the system so this is a complex method large number of variables are required so this is simple method less variables are required to describe a system next the properties like velocity, kinetic energy and momentum etc are needed to describe the system. So here the properties, velocity of a molecule, kinetic energy of a molecule, momentum of a molecule, okay, each molecule considered as separate entities. Yes, in the case of classical thermodynamics, the properties like pressure, volume, temperature etc needed to describe the system here the properties were considering properties velocity kinetic energy momentum etc but here pressure volume temperature etc so let us let us discuss the examples yes there is a cylinder the gas in a cylinder and a pressure gauge pressure gauge will measure the pressure of the gas so in classical approach the entire cylinder consists of a single large entity and the pressure gauge will measure the pressure. But what is the statistical approach? In statistical approach, see let us discuss here, according to kinetic theory of gas, what is pressure? Pressure is proportional to number of collision on the wall of the container or momentum transfer. Collision means momentum transfer. So, each molecules 
consists of a separate entities so this molecule will collide on the wall of the container they will transfer momentum find out the molecular momentum transfer for each molecule momentum transfer for each molecules okay this is the concept this is the concept in statistical approach this is not in common practice in this case not in common practice yes let us discuss the another example consider water in a beaker the temperature of the the temperature of water is measured by thermometer the thermometer measuring the temperature for example that measured is 80 degrees celsius so as per classical approach the entire liquid consists of a single large entity and thermometer measuring the temperature but what is actually temperature what is the temperature what is actually temperature of a liquid so it is proportional to average kinetic energy of a molecule more average kinetic energy more temperature less uh, avg kinetic energy so temperature also less okay but as per statistical approach the property is kinetic energy the measuring property is kinetic energy so each molecules considered as a separate entities and find out the kinetic energy of each molecules and take the average kinetic energy okay this is complex method not in common practice okay these are the two examples the example will tell you all about what is the difference between these two and next difference analysis those in statistical case analysis based on molecular level it require an advanced statistical and mathematical method to describe any change in the system so it means it is complex method so we are dealing with large number of entities okay so for solving this we need lot of mathematical equations and calculations but here the approach as per the in this uh, classical approach the approach requires that simple mathematical formula to describe any change in the system okay only one entity so we can easily complete this we can easily solve this problems okay these were the difference between statistical approach and classical approach and very important thing is that the classical approach see whatever the thermodynamics now we were studying that will follow classical approach and statistical approach means the application of statistical approach is in the field of laser plasma cryogenics etc okay these were the difference between these two okay thank you